But getting to the next caller, uh, the next caller would be New Muslim. I'm adding you in three, two, one. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, hello. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, just before I start, I would like to uh, ask this uh, sister you were talking to that uh, <clears throat> I would uh, be more than glad if she could call to my live streams. Uh, my channel is uh, Perfect Dawa, and uh, I would be more than glad to uh, solve some of her, um, you know, issues, uh, questions. Um, and I would like to say that I converted to Islam uh, <clears throat> because, uh, of course, uh, the problems that we are facing on this planet, and I found out that the, the solution is in Islam. And if I go back to the history, <clears throat> I can tell you that most of our problems were solved uh, by Abrahamic religion. For example, <clears throat> Romans, they were, uh, you know, crucifying people. Greeks were crucifying people. They were putting uh, gladiators. Yeah, in the crucifixion state. is allowed in Islam, right? <clears throat> no, I will, I, we will talk, talk about that. <clears throat> Let me first uh, go back to the history. Well, can, can we start by like telling me why do you believe that Islam is the truth? Okay, uh, let me first uh, <clears throat> uh, build up this, okay, please. <clears throat> so, no, because th were... that is the topic. So, I want you to tell me yeah. why you think Islam is the truth. Is it because of history? No, uh, Islam is the truth because uh, Islam is going to guide us uh, to. Hello? A... hello, you hear me? I hear you now. Yeah. So, right. why do you think Islam is the truth? Is it because of what you're going to talk about uh, about history? No, no, no. Is Islam is the truth because uh, Islam can guide us to a world where uh, all bad deeds will disappear. Um, but it hasn't come to that yet. But that's the, the way we are going. Okay, so I can explain about that as well. That where is the source of all our problems and what is the solution to all our problems? That's a very, very deep discussion. Okay, so if I want to tell you that uh, Abrahamic religions solve a lot of problems including Islam, okay, uh, then uh, I have to explain for you, for example, I explained that uh, they were committing all kinds of crimes uh, and Christianity stopped them. All these Greeks and Romans uh, doing all terrible stuff, so Christianity stopped them. And we have to acknowledge that. For example, in my home country... Wait, so, in... sorry, so sorry to interrupt, but you're saying you believe Islam is the truth because it can fix problems. Yes, it can. Uh, it has fixed the problems in the past. For example, uh, Arab Bedouins, they were burying their daughters alive. That was one of the right, problems. But what about when religion creates problems? Does okay. that negate that, that it is true? So if you're using the criteria that it fixes problems as proof that it's true, if it yes. causes problems, does that mean that it's not true? No, that's the, the, the problem would be caused uh, by the source because... For example, where even if there is no religion, people caused the problem like Adolf Hitler couldn't use religion in that time. That's why he used, uh, you know, nationalism. Right, right. But what if like specifically, like problems that are specifically linked to Islam or Christianity or whatever, if you see a problem stemming from Islam, does that negate the truth of Islam? Okay. Uh, that's, uh, I have to say, that, of course, that, this is not because of the religion, it's because of the uh, misinterpretation of, uh, you know, uh, Islam and uh, well, things that if, has been added, things that no, has no. been added. W without getting into that, so if you're, if you're saying that, you know, Islam fixing things proves that Islam is true, if, okay. wh why can't I just say that's not Islam fixing things, that's humans wanting to fix things? Okay. If you're going to blame humans for misinterpretation and corruption and all that, why don't we give them credit for fixing things? Uh, sorry, I didn't get it. So you were saying that Islam is true because it fixes, yes. it fixed a lot of things, right? Yes. But when Islam ruins certain things or people do certain things with like Islam, is the most, I'll, I'll give some examples, but say, for example, harm to women, you would say that this is a misunderstanding and that it's people who did that. So why don't we give people the credit when they're fixing things? Why do we give Islam the credit in that case and then not give it the credit when it causes harm? But when people have uh, fixed things, tell me. When have people think, fixed things? It's, yes, it's, yes. Things are never going to be completely fixed. There's always I, incremental fixing. Yes, yes. Right? So there's so many issues that have been fixed by, like, for example, social welfare programs. 
yeah. that's not necessarily Islamic. Those existed before, and maybe one could argue that Zakat is one of them. But Islam has caused issues like violence against women. How okay. can you not blame Islam for it or take points away from its truthfulness if okay. that's the criteria that you're using? Okay. Uh, that, uh, for example, you give the violence against women. That's not uh, Islamic because it has been, for example, uh, in the lockdown, three months, something in lockdown in Mexico, 1,000 women were killed. Okay, in domestic, uh, you know, violence. So this no, uh, violence against women is not specifically an Islamic problem, but yeah. there's things that Muslims have done to women specifically yes. because of Islam. No, no, specifically. Okay, uh, that's that's uh, uh, your opinion. I don't believe that that's because of Islam. They would do it anyway. There's a verse that literally says you can beat your wife. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, <laughs> that's the the uh, the things that uh, you misinterpret that uh, verse because the verse says uh, very clearly that after these two steps, if it continue, then leave them. If and what I continue, think, if what yeah. continues, so, uh, the the problem, the domestic problem. Okay? It says if you fear their their disobedience. It's not disobedience. Okay, because I have. Uh, if you want, I can go and show you that. It is Nashus, which has been uh, translated in another verse about women as uh, disloyalty. Okay, it, it's want... not about cheating because the the man no, no, like disloyalty. It's... They have uh, done. Uh, they have interpreted as disloyalty. Let me. Okay, uh... say say it's disloyalty. I'm not going to get into that argument at the moment because I I've looked into it. Say it's disloyalty. You're saying that the word that means beat doesn't mean beat. Adrubum mm -hmm. doesn't mean beat. The, uh, in uh, chapter um, 43, verse 5, strike means ignore. Chapter uh, 4, 101, strike means trouble. You're using them in very different, not just in different contexts. The way that the letters that are added onto the word at the end yes. are not the same. Idrub an is not the same as idrub. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I've, let's let's just agree to disagree here. And okay. I can tell you, like, the majority of Muslims, at least the Arabic-speaking ones, have to understand that it means beat. Whatever, there's a confusion there. There's harm caused by that confusion because God chose a word that usually means beat. Okay. Isn't that proof that, you know, according to your standards, that's proof that Islam is not true? So you mean that if that verse wasn't there, they wouldn't beat their wives? No, no, they would beat them less. They wouldn't feel justified by God to beat their wives. All right. Um, but I, I don't believe in that because, uh, as I said, that the, uh, just in 21st century... Um, yeah, yeah, people still beat thousand, women. Yes, but they, kill, that, they kill their wives. They even that, beat them to death. That's very okay. weird whataboutism because what I'm saying here is you're saying because Islam fixes things, it's proof that it's true. But then when I'm showing you a verse where even if the in intended meaning somehow is don't beat, Islam gave the verse that says beat, that most people understood as beat, and it caused more harm. Doesn't that disprove it, take away from its truth? Uh, I don't believe that uh, these uh, small things that take it uh, because uh, those who... That's not small. Miss, like miss, the, if you're a woman who suffered her entire marriage being beaten and her husband thinks it's okay and the family thinks it's okay, that's not a small thing. No, no. But uh, I say that they would beat their wives uh, anyway, uh, even without... No, not necessarily. Uh, it's no. higher. The violence is higher when the family is okay with it, when it's Islamically allowed. Okay. That uh, we have to see the... Uh, for example, Japanese, they would behead their wives with their, uh, you know, summary, uh, uh, summary sword. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's they, I think that's more Muslims they, beat their wives than, than Japanese people behead their wives. They, I'm pretty they, sure that's yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, I, I, look, this is uh, something that uh, we have to research to see if more Muslim beat their wives or Mexican who killed 1,000 women. What do you have uh, against the Mexicans? Few months. No, that's, that's the, the fact I'm saying that, <clears throat> that, during lockdown, within a few months, they killed 1,000 women. So, so to distill your point is that men are going to beat women anyway. They so, would have done it so anyway. Islam didn't increase it by giving a verse that says beat. No, that it doesn't say beat. Yeah. It doesn't say beat. It says leave. And next verse, explain it. says that if you fear that they separate, okay, then send somebody from her family and his family. So it shows even that she has the right to decide to go back to that life or not, so that they bring them back together, not that the, 
because yeah he, beaten he, women he, in islam yeah. go back to their husbands because that's yeah. normal because allah allowed it because they get no. beaten all right so that's look that's i say is your <laughs> understanding and here's the problem it's not about my interpretation and yours people disagree even let's say yeah. objectively you are right allah meant to say something that's not beat but he wrote something that also means beat so most of the people are confused and they're beating more all isn't right. that a flaw in the quran okay uh, let me tell you about uh, so that you understand that they have been you have been misunderstanding this chapter 5 verse 38 what it says that chapter uh, verse can you tell you, me about you're, you're the... still not understanding my point say i misunderstood okay i speak yeah. arabic and all the sheikhs around me misunderstood everyone misunderstood it's still a flaw in the verse that so many people can misunderstand isn't it uh, but people at that time they they understood it that they have to leave what about people after that <clears throat> Isn't that, it a flaw in the verse that people can misunderstand it so easily? Okay, that's that's not the, the problem of Quran. That's the problem of the people. I say that... How even, is that not the problem of the Quran? Yeah, you mean that if the verse wasn't there, they wouldn't beat their wives? I don't. Not as often. That. No. <laughs> Literally, the, the, there is a hadith where the women were complaining to Aisha, telling, telling Aisha after the verse was revealed, <clears throat> men are beating us more. Mm-hmm. Literally, yeah. during that time, after the verse was revealed, yes. did they misunderstand? Yeah, that's. There are a lot of uh, fabricated hadiths to uh, to make their agenda. Okay, for example, uh, stoning adulterers. They say that the uh, Prophet Muhammad stoned people to death and uh, uh, such a things. Yeah, they create these fabricated hadiths to to make their own agenda. And uh, these are absolutely non-Islamic. And these are absolute. For example, you mentioned Aisha as well. The same source, okay, that says that uh, Aisha was six years old, that Prophet Muhammad married her. The same source says that Prophet Muhammad split the moon, okay? Do you believe in that, uh, that Prophet Muhammad split the moon? As a Muslim, I don't believe in that at all, okay? So why you don't take that one as a truth that Prophet Muhammad split the moon, but you take this one? Because that one is positive but this one is negative that he married a six years old child okay but then many, many muslim take negative. both well, let me let me ask you something from the quran let's leave yeah. the hadith out of it then you okay. mentioned earlier that you know people were crucifying people and christianity came and fixed them yes, and all exactly. that so crucifixion is allowed in islam in certain circumstances where are you okay with that where there's a verse i can't remember the number no, someone in the comments I... Are you okay with crucifixion for people who deserve it in this, like according to this verse? So do you think that the verse says that I have right to crucify people as a Muslim? Do you think no, so? no, not a general uh, people who deserve it according to the criteria of those who fight Allah and his messenger and spread corruption in the land, okay. which is not set criteria. Like, what does right. that even mean? It right? Is a, all right. Let me tell you. It's a passive form. It is a statement that those who fight, okay, uh, Islam and the, Allah and the messenger, okay, this is what will happen to them. But who does that? It doesn't say Muslims. Chapter 7, verse 124 says, Pharaoh says, I will certainly cut off your hands and feet on opposite side, then crucify you all. Chapter 20, verse 71 says, he said, Pharaoh, have you believed in him before taking my permission? He is surely your great one who has taught you magic. So I will cut off your hands and feet from alternate side, and I will crucify you on the trunks of the palm tree. Okay, these are mention in Quran that who does this is the pagans who do this to themselves. But, so if, if they don't follow Quran, if they don't follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, these are what will happen to them. That, okay? That's not true. This this verse actually is a prescription verse. It's telling no, you they it's deserve a, this and right. that. And not only that. Okay, it I'll show you the verse. It's a, it's a statement. It's like I say that if you, uh, those who smoke, they will, uh, you know, get lung cancer. It doesn't mean that we give you cancer. Or if the government says that those who use uh, drugs, okay, it's a, if you read it, it's a, uh, you know, it is just a, a passive form. Passive Look here, not, here. We, we can read it right here. 
It says yeah. it's the penalty for those who wage yes. war against Allah and His Messenger. Right. Not only that, this penalty is a disgrace for them in this world, and they will suffer tremendous punishment in the hereafter. Then there is punishment happening in this world. They will yes. be crucified okay. in this world. All right. All it's right. not God saying some people get crucified. That All sucks. Right. Okay, let me tell you. It, it is like to say that you live by sword, you die by sword. So this is no, what it's not happens like that. Today. It's okay. not like that. It's saying if you if you fight Islam, and that could okay. be very open to interpretation. Yes. What does wage war against Islam mean? Like okay. Allah, so, I am waging right. war against Allah, right? Okay. If I'm you were spreading a Muslim, mischief. Yeah, Allah yeah. If you were a Muslim, I would ask you, who followed whose command? Allah followed Pharaoh's command, or Pharaoh followed Allah's command? So definitely... I, I, will, I will tell you a better answer that, that yes. solves that. Why is there that same wording of, you know, like opposing side, whatever? That's because of the author wrote both stories. Yeah. Okay. The, the author wrote that the Pharaoh was used to do such a things. Okay. He right. used to cut off their hands. According so, to this author. And yes. by the way, which Pharaoh? Which Pharaoh is this? Yes. It says the, the Pharaoh, uh, it's uh, the, the time when Moses was leaving. Okay. It's the, the story of Moses. So is there any like, proof that there was a Pharaoh that uh, used to cut, chop off limbs in the op opposing way and all that? Or yeah. That's just Quran, a story? Yes. Quran says that. Okay. So we go according to Quran uh, because we are trying to interpret this verse of Quran 533. Okay. So Quran says that he was doing it. So uh, was Allah uh, following Pharaoh's, uh, you know, uh, uh, no, no. the author of both verses just yeah. had this idea in his mind yeah. chopping off limbs the opposite okay. or, or may maybe it was a certain punishment by some people at the time and the author inserted that into both stories All right. so it's that's, not that again, Allah is following Pharaoh's command okay. again that's that's your uh, interpretation and I say this is not a, 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 Allah says that for example to Muslim says that uh, fight Fight is a, a command verb, okay? But to say that if you smoke, you get cancer is not a command. It's just a statement. Here, here, here. Verb, okay, this, this is a command, okay? Yes. The next verse, accept those who repent, then seize them. Yes. Seize them, right? Okay, yes. Then seize Allah them. knows that Allah... Wait, إِلَّا لَذِينَ تَعْبُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ تَغْدِرُوا عَلَيْهِمْ فَعْلَمُوا أَنَّهُ So before, those who... Yeah, make tawbah before you you yes. overpower them, before you win, before you chop off the limbs. Then Allah is going to forgive them. So it is telling them okay, you right. do this action unless they they do yeah. tawbah first. All right. If they repent, okay. So if I catch them and they say I repent yesterday, how do I know that they repent yesterday? It is something between them and Allah. Because only that's, Allah that's knows the point. That they the point is, the verse is talking about what to do to them unless yes. they say, I repent. Okay, so if they have, no, it's, a, it's not like saying you'll get cancer if you smoke. No, it's no, saying, it's a, I will, like, you deserve to get cancer. I will give you cancer unless you stop. Okay. No, I say that this is, look, this is a passive form. Okay, these are passive form and these are not order. And I have explained that who does this? This is Frau who does that. This is pagans who were doing to each other in Rome, in Greece, and these are not the commands that Muslims do such a thing. This is to. not a command here? No, it's not a command. It's just a... It's so just what does it mean then when, when the next verse says, unless they repent? Uh, that they don't get the punishment hereafter because it has it's like the government says that if you use d drug you will get disease and so on and we catch you we put you in in jail unless you Dude, repent that's, you that's stop not that. what this verse is no. saying right. this verse is strictly saying they deserve this unless they repent all right and okay. and okay say say you're right and some poor muslim misunderstands and goes and crucifies someone <clears throat> whose fault is that First of all, I don't uh, have even, um, I haven't heard uh, a single report even that Muslim crucified anybody, okay, in the past, because they understood. Would that you believe it if I look up in history that there was a Muslim ruler who crucified someone, or would you say that's not Islamic? Okay, let me see. Did uh, Prophet Muhammad crucify? Uh, no, no, the no, biggest no, enemy of Muslim Islam. We can't was... just say did Prophet Muhammad do every single thing, therefore that's fine. Prophet Muhammad didn't crucify someone. Does that mean that? Crucifixion yeah. is not allowed yeah. when the verse no. says it is. Of course, it is not allowed. Okay, because I told you it is the the passive form, and I say that uh, even in the battle of Bad, when they captured the enemy and Prophet Muhammad saw that they are they have tied the enemy and then drawing, you know that the the the, the, the even you Google now 
the the rules of the war you see that uh, how you have to treat the prisoners how you have to treat women and they, so on. they don't and, include raping the war captures okay, the people you captured in the war but that is an islam so, so what, what are we raping, talking about here raping raping no there is no taking in, someone in, as a sex slave is is yeah. rape no no it's not they have it is not in quran okay sex slavery is not in the quran what does no, sex, 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 mean that's uh okay uh, i can uh, it is a first of all that's not a slave okay that's uh, people who were coming like today people coming uh, from other countries who don't have they come to for example in, to sweden they don't have permission or anything any legal so, so, so green card marriages basically yeah, that's what yeah, slavery, sex like slavery? Yeah, exactly. you're telling so me it's not a slavery okay let me see uh, th there is a uh, there is a good brother his name is brother rashid and he has a channel i can uh, put the the you know the video he made about this uh, slavery and so on you can he's an arab speaker and he can he explain very well this uh, malakat imanakum uh, okay the the what right about all the slaves okay. who were owned and had sex with and all that okay everybody understood it wrong except you and that sheikh and a few people what, what does that change about people actually suffering as sex slaves under islam okay let me slavery is uh, condemned in islam okay it's uh, not condemned in islam tell okay. show me one verse where allah says don't have slaves okay. yeah uh, chapter, 20, have, yeah. chapter 26 let me read for you okay. chapter 26 verse 22 moses said is this a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of israel uh, chapter 7 verse 127 wait, wait, what, what said, is that what, what does that verse say like don't have slaves i don't understand slavery is a great uh, you know uh, great sin it's a uh, terrible act that uh, Moses is saying that uh, um, Moses said, is this a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Chapter 7, verse 127. Wait, said, how does, how does that it, say, how does Moses talking about, is this a favor which you reminded me? What does yes. that say compared to, couldn't God bring like three Arabic words together and say, do not enslave? Yes, of, the thing is, uh, uh, these, uh, the, t the time, okay, the time was that people, is like today, okay, today we, we know that, today we know that the, the fossil fuel is bad for, for the, Did you know, Allah planet, know that but we cannot stop it, because we cannot stop it right away. Could At Allah that time, not stop it right away? You're no, telling me that was Allah not. was, was following the, the laws of people not being okay with stopping it? Like, no, no, look, it is, it was, it is like, uh, for example, go to India, okay, and say ch uh, children, uh, uh, child labor is forbidden, okay? It is not possible because millions of children there in India, let me tell you. If, please, if, I, if, I, was, please, if I was a ruler you. with let all the resources you. in the world, I would okay. put in a system to stop child uh, employment and child slavery. If but, I had all the resources, okay. Allah had all the resources and he okay. just had to wait till people got bored of slavery. No, let me tell you, I say if you do that, millions of children in India who make money to bring to their family, they get out of their job. If okay? I had resources, I cannot. would make sure that, that, that okay. they are provided yes. for. I yes. would find okay. a way. All right, yeah. you will find a way. But the thing is that the, the meaning of creation has been like this, that Allah just guide us, okay, to a better world. He give us the command, the guidance, and we uh, go through that command and slowly, slowly, thousands of years, tens tens of thousands of years we reach to that world where it's ideal is beautiful is peaceful nobody kill uh, one another but it take time it it didn't mean to happen overnight otherwise he wouldn't and it put still us didn't here. happen because of no the it has still haven't happened no i know but it will happen this is a promise in quran that one day the world will be perfect everybody will be righteous the the righteous people will uh, inherit and rule the planet and well, that what, what makes you also well, is, th this this yes. talk is about what you believe what makes you so certain of something a promise that's going to happen 1400 years and still didn't happen what gives you so much certainty of all of this because islam fixed some things according to what you're saying yeah. no is because 
uh, today we are educated enough, we are intelligent enough that we uh, slowly, slowly, I see the history that we are going towards that way. Okay. When you look at the hundred years no, ago, I'm talking about the basis ago. for your belief. Like yes. What, the, what makes you believe that Islam is true? Is it that Islam fixed some things, like you said? No, Islam is going to fix everything. Not what that. makes you believe that? You're, you're talking about the future. What about the past or current or anything makes in the you past believe that? Has, yeah, in the past has uh, solved a lot of problems. For example, uh, alcohol is forbidden. Yeah, millions of people have so, been... So if, if Islam solved problems, does that make it true? Sorry? If Islam solved some societal problems, does that make it true? Yes, that makes it... Uh, because uh, an uneducated person 1,400 years ago couldn't come with a solution that... Uh, solve every problems on this planet. And then one more thing I have to every tell you. Every problem? That always, so yes. so if, 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 I, if I came up with a government that solves certain problems, does that make my government divine? Not that the, uh, you know, the government uh, is divine, okay? But uh, if does the government... Does that make my thinking no, divine? Like, is no. that criteria for yeah, de okay. the, the determining the truth? We have to truth? follow that government. If, if the government can do that, yes, we have to obey that government. And then in Islam is not that we worship God, okay? In Islam is that the Islam that I know, we obey God, we obey his commands. And when you say that, oh, I go to hell because I don't believe, no, it's not that, like that at all. As long as you do good deeds, okay, I can read for you a lot of verses in Quran that say you enter heaven for your good deeds. As long as you do good deeds and you avoid bad deeds, you are saved, okay? It doesn't matter you believe or you disbelieve. It's not in Islam. It's not about believing or disbelieving. It's about oppressor and oppressed. The but fight is between oppressor and though. oppressed. So, I, I yes. understand that you have your understanding of Islam. And I'm not it's not trying only to, like, me. It's not only me. Many, many people say you have a following and other people that you haven't met even. You have your understanding of Islam. Yes. What concerns me as an outsider is that this is not the mainstream understanding. The mainstream understanding harms people. You think yeah. it's a misunderstanding. I think it doesn't matter because God couldn't have been so like, so bad at expressing himself that most of the world misunderstood. Mm -hmm. So right. do you think that God, like most of the people, most Muslims in the world don't agree with you? Do you? Is not that most, not most. There are um, there are a lot of people as well too who agree with me, and I'm following. Are you saying like more than fifty percent of Muslims in the world are agreeing with you? Um, I don't know the percentage, but there are millions of Muslims who agree with me. Okay, but do and you think are there are like more than half of the Muslims agree with you? I don't know. I haven't asked them. Okay, but. Uh, well, based on people who believe that me. the hadith is true, like you, you don't trust the hadith. Most no, Muslims no. trust the hadith. No, Doesn't that already say. mean that like most Muslims don't agree with you? No, let me tell you that I do not reject all hadiths. I'm not Quranist. Okay, I believe in hadiths that goes in line with Quran. Okay, so and then I know there are there are lots of Muslims who, when they hear me, they. Uh, uh, believe in that they say yes you are right yes but <clears throat> uh, and then i have to tell you all these extremist youtubers they have blocked me because they don't want that muslim hear me okay because they say that you make fitna because they see that their interpretation of islam and quran is wrong that's why they don't want that people hear me okay and if there are people who hear me and would like to help me they just can call to this EF Dava and such a channels. And I, I don't think it's because they, they think, I don't think it's because they think that they're wrong and you're right and they're afraid of that. Like I get blocked in certain places or by certain people. It's not because they know I'm right and they're wrong. It's because mm -hmm. they genuinely believe they're right and they think that blocking me is going to reduce harm. And they think that blocking you is going to be easier for them, less of a nuisance, and they don't yeah. have to expose people to your ideas that to them are blasphemous and spreading corruption. Like someone mm. like you could have been crucified back in those days, literally, and you would mm. just tell them you were misunderstanding Allah's words. Yes, yes. They, they can uh, stone a human being to death, okay? And I can tell them that you misunderstand. There is no such a thing in, in Quran. But what does it's, that do for, for you? People, like you'd right? still be harmed by it. And right? God's like, is God just watching them stone you or, or crucify you because they misunderstood and he's not doing anything? Okay, uh, God has been watching uh, uh, the humanity uh, in all these 
throughout the history they are doing a lot of trouble things okay uh, a lot of a lot of um, but I mean, specifically about his yeah. words like yes. aside from humanity sinning and doing bad things no, but he's very watching quran, most no, muslims no, no. misunderstanding yeah. no uh, islam never said quran never said to stone a human being okay give me a single verse and they uh, okay okay uh, yeah. not stoning but lashing are you okay with that no uh, okay all right yes lashing is also when uh, uh, that was um an alternative to stoning that people were doing the pagans were doing okay that was an alternative a better alternative to stoning there's a better alternative right. of not doing it at all all right yes let me tell you okay allah doesn't want that you even lash people so what he did he said that okay bring four witnesses okay and those four witnesses you cannot find anywhere on this planet because they Then have how to... can people get lashed how come Sorry? it keeps happening how come so it keeps I... happening I say that it is impossible if you'd really want to follow Quran, okay? If you really want to follow the commands that you have to bring four witnesses, those four witnesses must have never lied. They but must have never Nobody but that's the thing. How come it keeps happening then? What happened? Because people Lashings. Yes, people want Why would you give people that tool? Why would you give someone a gun and say only shoot in this circumstance or this circumstance and then be surprised when they shoot? All right. Okay. Let me explain for you. I say that that was an alternative to stoning. That don't do that. But you couldn't say to people of the past, "Don't." Uh, Why is God talking to us as if we're people of the past? I'm not some yes. guy in a desert who is stoning people. But you have to understand. I mean, today you have to understand that you have no right to slash to punish anybody because you are yourself a sinner. As a Muslim, I say that I have no right. For example, God said. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, okay? A life for a life. That was for 3,500 years ago when people didn't have jail, they didn't have a court, they didn't well, have police. Where, where did we come okay? up with all this stuff? Allah didn't give us all this stuff. No, Allah didn't reach us. He didn't give us jails. He didn't give us justice systems. He no, gave he, us the brutal way. No, no. Uh, he said at that time... An eye for an eye, because if you took my eye at that time, I would kill you. Yes, but Allah yes, didn't give us like a new system. Who came right. up with the better systems of not an eye for an eye? Uh, the, of course, we developed as well. Okay. And, so uh, why why is our like his guidance was basically don't stone, lash instead, and then humans came around and they thought, you know what, let's not lash, let's do better things and rehabilitate and things like that. So how come we did better than Allah's guidance? Okay, Allah's guidance in reality is this, that says that, uh, after that says that, and who, but whoever gives up his right as charity, uh, right of punishment, yeah, it is an expansion for him. Chapter 42, verse 40 says, and the retribution for an evil act is an evil act like it, but whoever pardons and makes reconciliation, His reward is due from Allah. But so he, Allah. He didn't tell us what he just said. But if you if you do better, then it's good. He didn't. So, he didn't give us these systems. We yes. have better systems for justice than Allah okay. ever gave us. Okay, but the thing is that you have to put it in context that at that time people uh, needed to. I'm talking to about today's punish. context. Yes. Allah never gave us any evolution of this justice system, except vaguely saying, "And if you can reconciliate, that's great." Okay. But, My my point is like these are all very side discussions, and what I want to understand is why you believe so certainly that Islam is true, and you say it's because it fixed some problems. But not some problem; it's going to fix all problems. But you're saying it's going to fix, so you believe oh, yes. stuff about the future, yes. or you believe Islam is true based on stuff about the future, future not even yes. the past. No, the so, past has done. No, it has. I know, I know, but you're saying it has past. fixed some problems in the past, the past and will yes. fix all problems in the future. the future. You have to remove the future part from why you currently believe because you haven't witnessed it yet. So, okay. what makes you believe that it's true and it will fix things in the future? That it the because it fixed some things in the past? Yes, it has not. <clears throat> it has fixed something in the past. Okay, and if it is just those things, all right, I, I agree with you that. If Allah, Islam is not going to solve any problems in the future, and that was all, then I agree with you that we don't need it anymore because now we are living, you know, uh, in a world where we uh, have solved some problems, yeah? But I say we need Islam still because in the, we, still we have problems 
and in the future we will have problems. We cannot get rid of all our problems unless we follow his commands, which is going to guide us to a beautiful world. But, okay? but you still haven't you haven't explained. So you think that Islam is the truth because it will fix problems in the future. But how do you yes. know that it will? Do you have ilm al ghaib Do you have knowledge no, of the future? I, no, I know that Quran says. Okay, Quran says, and then I have the. The knowledge but, of the knowledge it, of the source of the problems. No, no, you, you you can't talk. You can't say the Quran says in the future it will fix things. I am an outsider, right? Okay. I am telling you what makes Islam true, and you say because the Quran says in the future it will fix things. Yes. That, but how does that make Islam true if the book says that in the future it will fix things, and that is the reason why you think it's true because it will fix things in the because future? I, yes. Because I know the source of the problems, okay? And Quran, Quran is going to get rid of the source of the problems. Do you how know what you, is the source? How do you know that? What is the source? Yeah. Yes, the source of the problem in Quran is the Satan. Okay, Satan is. Wait, the source so if of I don't believe in Islam, the the way to prove Islam is that Satan exists and Islam can <laughs> fix that? No, all right. Let me tell you. Okay, wait. It is metaphorical, okay? It, there is a source for all problems in Islam. It is called Satan, okay? But in the reality of today, uh, Quran explain it that the, who is the Satan? Quran says, Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to immorality, okay? So, I see in 21st century that uh, the source of all problems is a system which call it, to, to, today we call it capitalism. In this capitalist world, 1% of the total uh, population of the world, they, all, they own 50% of the total capital of the planet, which is $110 trillion. And they want to become richer and richer and they create all problems. I, I agree with you yes. about they, that being a, a big problem. I'm not going to say yes. the root of all problems. That's not I say is that the root. the root. Okay, we can agree to disagree there. But you're saying basically Islam is true because it's going to fix the root of the problems which is capitalism. And that makes yes. it true. Yes. So, but it's, it's not even tested as and proven to be true. You're saying... It's theoretically going to fix capitalism. Therefore, it is true. All right. Let me tell you that. No, I, I, I just want you to give me yes. like the, the core of your belief. Yes. You say the you core believe Islam belief, is true. Right. Yes. No, the core you, you of my belief is that equality is the solution to all our problems. Okay. And when we go to Mecca, we dress equal. There is no rich, no poor. And you, every day we have to You need stand to zoom to out. Mecca. You need yes. to zoom out. Yes. What makes Islam true to you? You're saying it's because it will fix the problems of capitalism. Not even that it has fixed the problems of capitalism no. and we see it. Okay. No, you're saying Islam is true because in the future it will fix problems of capitalism. Yes. How does that prove Islam? Okay, but if you understand it, if you, if I can prove you that the problem, the source of problems... Let's, is, let's is say capitalism the, is the biggest source of, of problems. Let's say problem, it is the problem. one source. Okay, yeah. how do you prove that Islam is true because capitalism is a problem? Yes, because Islam says that the, the solution to this system, the, the, Islam's, the solution, uh, Islam's solution is equality. It says that go to Mecca, Look, it, dress... It claims people, that. Uh, th that's not really going to solve the world of capitalism, but it claims that Islam is for equality. How does that claim prove that it is the solution to capitalism? Because I think um, when I look at it, I see that all problems, drug, prostitution, war. We get it. We get it. It's all caused by capitalism. Yes, I, capitalism. I got it. So the solution is to leave, get rid of the capitalism. Leave well, okay. Equal. What if what if my solution is is all that without the God part? Okay, equality yeah, and right. communism and, and all sorts of stuff, but yes. not not God. Yeah, that's all. If you does that make it true? So where's the God concept here? Uh, How is that? Okay, if look, look, if you believe in that, okay, you are on my side. Okay, no, I'm asking you what makes yeah. you believe in God, and you say because capitalism is bad and Islam is the solution, but that doesn't speak about God. You're saying capitalism is bad and there's a solution for it, therefore God. Okay, because I believe that without his guidance, okay, we don't reach that world, okay? Without his guidance, that is, he has given us this guidance 1,400 years and has asked us every day, ask him, show me the right way, and the right way is... You can't start by saying he has given us when I'm asking you what makes you certain that he has given us. Yeah, because I... I know it. Uh, I told you, I'm trying to explain for you and you don't want to listen. I say that Mecca 
uh, when we go to Hajj, we are equal. There is no rich, no poor. I've okay? been there more than you have. And I understand okay. not to pull rank, but like I've seen so, the whole so you know that. of equality. So why, why we dress that dress of Ahram? What does Can that do? Me? What does that do to fix capitalism in a country? Like India, how does the how does people going to Hajj and dressing the same and singing, you know, Kumbaya, basically, how does that solve capitalism and how does that prove Islam? You're making a lot of leaps here. Like, okay. how are you so certain of all that? Because um, this is my belief. Okay. Yeah. What this makes is, it your belief? Cor because cor uh, I understand it. I converted to Islam. Because I realized that the source of all problems is this, okay? Then I realized that Quran says that we have to get rid of this source and live equal. That's why we reject the source, the Satan, which is the metaphorical, is the reality, is the, you know, that's why we stone it, we reject it, okay? And uh, uh, we uh, sacrifice for that and we say we believe in equality and we have to. Uh, every day stand towards that equality and sh say, show me the right way. The right way is equality. The wrong way is capitalism. We have to get rid of it. And okay, I say, say I believe all that. And this is me trying to understand at the core of your belief. I believe, okay, capitalism is bad and we need to get rid of it. And okay. I have a system and communism is part of that system. Okay. How does that prove? Therefore, I should believe that Allah is true. Okay. What, I if, believe... what if I tell you, like, my God is, is a cat God, and it, it tells you everything like that about communism? Does that okay. prove my God? Okay. Um, look, the, the thing is that um, it's, I'm not trying to prove it to you. I just believe that uh, God, uh, because when I look at the history of sending messengers, I, this is what I have understood, that God wants to guide us to that world, okay? And I believe that this is God. So it's not that you're not forced to believe in that. No, you I, are... I, I want to understand why you believe that that is God. You said when I look at history. So is it because you saw through history, yes. history proves that this is God? History uh, that he sent us prophets and he tried to guide us to that war to uh, solve our problems. I realized that, uh, he, for example, um, I saw uh, paganism. And I realized that if God didn't exist, all religions should be uh, like paganism. But I realized that Abrahamic religions, they are totally different. They have one source and they have all they all talk about the same thing. While paganism <clears throat> from Mayans to, you well, know, why to, do you believe that then? Why I believe what? That, that all of these come from talking about the same thing or like, um, like because what I is have the... read because I have read it I have read and I see what they talk about all Abrahamic religion what they talk about and what paganism talk about yeah they don't have any common uh, you know beliefs this, the only common beliefs they have is hundreds of gods okay from Mayans to uh, ancient Egyptians and uh, uh, Greeks and then in uh, Hindus and so on so in reality when I went to India it was two, year 2000, and I uh, learned about Hinduism. Then I woke up. I was an atheist, okay? Then I woke up, and I started to think that uh, there are such, a, uh, you know, differences in Abrahamic religion uh, with paganism. That's why I started to think. And then I slowly, slowly, I came to this understanding that the source is, uh, you know, capitalism. And I realized that Islam teach us to get rid of this source and live equal, okay? And God promises us that one day is going to happen. One day we are going to live, uh, the righteous people will rule and inherit the planet. So there will be no any oppressed and oppressor. So that will be gone. This is what I believe that is going to happen. And without Islam, we are not going to reach to that world. And if your religion can provide that, I will follow your religion, don't worry, <clears throat> because I know that my God will not be angry. He wants that we live in a good world. That's why I told you, you are not going to hell just because you don't believe. You will go to hell for your bad deeds. I can give you a lot of verses in Quran. If you do bad okay, deeds... So let me, let me ask you a question, not to argue about this. I want to ask you, what do you think you should do or others should do to achieve this goal of a happy life where everyone is following this uh, or everyone is like fighting the capitalism and whatnot? What should people do differently to stop misunderstanding Islam? What they should do differently? 
Uh, you mean that uh, about those misunderstanding parts of Islam? Yeah. So if what should people do differently so that they see Islam the way that you see it? They, they, they shouldn't just follow blindly uh, the scholars, you know, say, oh, these are scholars. Oh, you are against all these scholars. Oh, you know, they should start to think themselves because uh, at the end, uh, when they come to other side, Allah is not going to ask them what your scholars said to you. They, they will, he will ask them, if you stone somebody to death, he will ask you and put you in, uh, you know, in question, not just because the scholar said that you have the right to uh, kill an apostate or stone an adulterer, okay? So you have to think yourself, you have to read Quran and understand it and just don't uh, trust one scholar. Research, uh, there are lots of information today and put them together, combine them, not just blindly follow, uh, you know, the scholars who were businessmen, their, their job was selling God for them was the, you know, for example, this uh, Bukhari, he just wanted, you know, he was a businessman as but well. He if, wanted to okay. sell his books. So what if, what if people do what you say, right? They, they don't just take the words of the scholars, they research, they think for themselves. And then a lot of them either arrive at a different Islam than you, okay. worse Islam, or maybe even no Islam. Like they just okay. realize Islam is not true. Do okay. you think that that is the best way to arrive at your conclusions is to just think critically about it? No, it's the best way that you think critically, yes. Doesn't matter what will happen, okay? So so but, you and I agree at the end of the day is that we're asking people to just think critically about their belief and not listen to their imams and take yes, everything exactly. for granted. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Isn't as, that a good way to agree? As I didn't, as I, didn't I didn't listen to them, you know? Yeah, so th that is that is a very fantastic conclusion that you and I basically agree, but we have different conclusions at the end of the day, but we agree about the method, right? Yes, yes, of course, you, you have to think, because you are going to be judged, not the scholar, okay? If you go and kill somebody uh, 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 opposite Aladdin, just because Bukhari told you, because uh, I say to them, I was, according to them, I was uh, apostate, they should kill me. But thanks God, we say, Alhamdulillah, I wasn't judged by Bukhari and his followers, so I could learn and I could convert to Islam and I'm doing Dawah, okay? So this proved them wrong, that Allah says in Quran himself that they have, everybody have their own time and if Allah was going to punish them for their bad deeds, nobody will be on, uh, on the face of earth. Nobody would be alive. He would kill everybody. But he give everybody a term, a time, okay? So that they... Uh, you know, they pass this term and he will decide when the term is out. Okay, the time mm -hmm. is out. All right. I'm mm -hmm. not going to decide that your term, even if you kill somebody, I have no right to kill you. You might repent, you might change. You know, I say always we have to rehabilitate you, we have to fix the problem. Why you kill that person, for example? Yes. Th that's a good mentality to have. And mm -hmm. I, I want to ask you do you face more opposition from? Other Muslims or ex-Muslims or other religions? From both sides. <laughs> when it comes to your da'wah. What, like, what's yes. the biggest group, if you can break it down? I'm curious uh, about your, like, because I haven't, I, I haven't experienced the opposition you experienced, so I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet, yes, uh, from uh, these uh, extremist Muslims, of course, yeah. They, all, they say right away, oh, you are not a Muslim, you are a kafir, and such things, okay? Yes, mm -hmm. that's the biggest uh, opposition. But, That's um, your biggest opposition. It's even bigger than non-religious people. Yes, yes. But uh, I have to tell you that I'm not alone. I said it. I'm following an organization. Uh, we are, you know, it's a great organization. Women are equal in our organization. They are leaders, okay? And they are Muslims as well. And uh, unfortunately, the, the powers who don't want to see a better Middle East, they have been trying to destroy this organization because, uh, for example... Um, a Jordanian parliamentarian woman met my leader, she's a woman as well, said that when you bring down the regime in Iran and get the power, it's not just Iranian women who get their rights, the entire Middle East women stand up for their rights, okay? And that's what the powers who want to sell weapons to Middle East, they don't want to see. They don't want to see a democratic Middle East. They want a Middle East that is in war, that they can sell their weapons and they buy cheap oil. So it's a lot of politic, uh, you know, 
that is involved today, for example, even there is an uprising in Iran, a revolution in Iran, and they try, you know, they they don't want to bring this regime down because this regime has given them a lot of money, a lot of, you know, interest, unfortunately. There, but anyway, there is some truth to all of that, like about politics being mixed up with the stability of a region. And yes. sometimes the other countries, they don't necessarily care about what happens to the women or the men. It's just more about yeah, is, is this region going to be stable? Is this going to further our interests? I, I agree with you that there's yeah. some stuff there. Yeah. Um, I was just curious, like because at the end of the day, I, I don't dislike you. And if I disagree with you about things in Islam, that's not me saying you're wrong and you should be believing this and you should be practicing this. Yeah, it's that's only wrong. Because yeah. it's a wrong, wrong belief. I don't, uh, it's, I, sh you shouldn't encourage people to believe in killing uh, apostate. You should tell I, yeah. them that's I, wrong. I want to encourage people to believe in, like, to, to reduce harm. So your exactly. position reduces harm in many ways. Yeah. However, like, here's where we differ and why, like, I still wouldn't be quite a supporter per se. Not that you're asking for my support or anything, but is that I would see it as this kind of reframing of Islam because it's very difficult to take off in a mainstream way. I worry that it covers up legitimate criticism for what I would call mainstream Islam. When people see this kind of Islam and they think, you know what, it doesn't seem so bad. Let's just ignore the topic. That is why I would push back and say, no, there's so many people who have already been harmed. And it's good that you have the new interpretation, but it's it hasn't taken off. And I don't think it ever will. But that doesn't mean that I dislike you or that I'm like forcing you, you to believe it this way. Um and thanks for calling. I, I um, thank you. Yeah, but I, I believe that it will. It will. Okay. It take time, but it will, uh, and we will change it. Hopefully, inshallah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, be safe. Okay. I'm fighting for your right. You can say whatever you want. All thank right. You. And I'm uh, against those who uh, ignorance who say that um, because. In Quran, the biggest, uh, you know, punishment for you is hereafter. There is no punishment for you here in this life. Okay, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that you will be punished in hereafter. Of course, not because of your. Uh, I understand it. Not because of your disbelief. Because of your bad deeds. If you do bad deeds, okay. If you, for example, going killing people or such things, small. Even Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says small bad deeds. He will forgive if you. Uh, you know, avoid major bad deeds, okay? And we know what are major bad deeds. So I hope that uh, you also understand that there is a different uh, interpretation of Islam and uh, a peaceful one, and I'm trying to spread that one. And I uh, I wish that people would support me and help me uh, achieving that, that world, peaceful world. And I have, um, you know, uh, Christians who call to my channel and we are we're having such a great, you know, uh, discussion with each other. I don't allow anybody to attack Christians, for example, on my channel. I don't allow them uh, to attack other religions. I just talk about Islam, okay? And I have said many times, a Christian, by the way, is at the main on my channel. <laughs> a Christian who believed before that um, uh, Islam is devil and so on, but now we are like brothers. So uh, and I believe that we have to uh, agree on our common interest, okay? We have to unite uh, on uh, in our common interest against those who uh, are our enemies. Our enemies are the oppressors, those who oppress us. In this fight, you are with me, uh, an, a, a Christian, a Jew, uh, an, a Marxist. Everybody are on my side if they fight against the oppressor, like today's Iran. Everybody who want to fight against Iranian regime are on my side. Doesn't matter what they believe in, all right? So um, thank you for giving me this opportunity and um, uh, take care, my brother. All right. Yeah, thank you for your time and contributing. And uh, yeah, yeah, have a great rest of your day. You too. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye-bye.